tell us, how did you first get into music and poetry? Yeah, I, I come from a very musical family, um, very creative family. And, and that honestly is what started it. I was also a preacher's kid of a small church, which that's just one of those things where you just by default just <laughs> end up having to be involved. I started out very like a little bit reluctantly, a little bit like, okay, this is just something my family does, you know, where my, my parents are musicians, my mom's an artist. I was like, this is just something we do. But um, I didn't really see it as something that I would take on as like what one might call a job or a career until I was out of college. I had my first job. I was really happy with it, but the job was moving to a different part of the state. I couldn't move with it. And um, my sister, who was a full-time musician at the time, was traveling, doing music. And I just literally went on the road with her. And <laughs> she's two years younger than me and ex ex significantly more extroverted and high energy. And I just followed her around. <laughs> and from there, that's what actually led me to um, getting a songwriting deal, getting a record deal. Um, and then eventually I left that space to pursue digital art and poetry out of, um, honestly, it was needing more income and wanting to be more creative. And that's what, that's what led me into the space that I'm in today. So that's the Cliff Notes version. <laughs>